No kids, no way around it. No practice today. Aww. That stupid rain. <laughs> Why? Do something. We can't be stopped. We can't be stopped by a tiny, a tiny bit of rain, right? Wait. <clears throat> Every year is the same thing. Every year the roof leaks, and as a result, Maple calls off practice. Yeah, just like every year. That's right. But this time, we're gonna raise money to fix the roof! Huh? Uh, we already tried that last year with calendars, but we only sold five. Aww. Well, maybe. But this year, we might find another idea. We're gonna record an album. Yay! Hmm. That's not a bad idea. We're going to record the Hazelnut album. Not to brag, but I know a thing or two about music. All right, auditions in five minutes. Yay! Next. I can't, I can't, I can't! What's wrong, Daniel? Stage fright? I can't sing in front of people. My voice, it's really bad. No, it can't be that bad. Go on, sing something. <clears throat> <gasps> Stop! Okay, it is that bad. I told you so. I'm gonna ruin the album. <laughs> Don't worry, little buddy. I know what to do. I'll sing. You can lip sync. Oh, yeah! How could I have forgotten that you're also a great singer? I even have your album. Yep, they're collector's albums, you know. I, uh, only sold five. <laughs> I was too far ahead of my time, but that's about to change. A real artist can feel these things. Whenever you're ready, Daniel. Just a sec. <laughs> that was beautiful, Daniel. Beautiful. It's the miracle I've been waiting for, for so long. I wasn't always a football coach. There was a time when I sang to stop pollution, to stop us going to war. I was a rising star in world music. That was a long time ago. But your voice, Daniel, your voice is a gift from above. With it, we won't be just saving the gym. We'll be saving the world. Get ready, hazelnuts. Things are about to go platinum. And that's a wrap. Great work, hazelnuts. But we didn't even sing. Mm. Our turn now, Daniel. Time is money and we don't have any. <laughs> Great job, Daniel. It's really moving, but you're lagging just a bit. Oh, uh, sorry. Lagging? It's his music that's ahead. No biggie. Let's take it from the top. And go, Daniel! Stop! You're really not far off, but I think you can do better. Hey, who does he think he is, Mozart? No one tells Patara to sing. No one. Erica, wait. Uh, take five. Calm down, Erico. Maple is demanding, but it's for the sake of the album. I'm a high-performance sports car, okay? When you lift the hood, you wear gloves. You know, I get it if you're afraid to fail. Fail? In your dreams. Come on, let's go back in there. Stop! You're 
singing in B flat there, Daniel. I need you to give it 200%. What? I will show you 200%. the one. Now I know it, Daniel. Your voice is the real thing. Let me tell you a story. After my first album, which went triple platinum, I went off in search of a new sound. I was looking for the note of pure love. Mother Nature's heartfelt call. It was in that forgotten monastery that I found it. The Forbidden Octave. Forbidden Octave I used the score from my album. I thought I was good enough to sing it, but I was wrong. Daniel. But you can do it. I truly believe you can reach the forbidden octave and change the world. <laughs> greatest footballer and the greatest singer that's not what i said at all thanks daniel i believe in me too don't do it erico look the notes on this scroll form the shape of a skull look it's smiling at me okay daniel you ready ready maple I don't know if I can reach the Forbidden Octave. No pressure, Daniel. It's just the future of humanity, after all. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mr. Monks, please make sure that Erico doesn't hurt himself singing. Hmm? Now! Sorry, Erico, but I had to stop you. What? My ears are still ringing. I can't hear. Oh, let me guess. You're apologizing for ruining my album with your terrible voice. <laughs> we heard your call, my child. <laughs> oh, dang it. We're too late. You, Butchin, you stole our sacred song for your own glory. It's true. Wrapped up in my pride, I forgot the true meaning of music. I put you through unreasonable risk, Daniel. <laughs> what have I become? I should have listened to you, Daniel. I'm sorry, Daniel! <laughs> Please, take this. It belongs to you, Mr. Monks. You are wise beyond your years, duck-voiced child. Forbidden Octave! No kids, no way around it. I have to apologize. It's all my fault that the album flopped. Aww. Wait! It's 
true that our CD is lame, but it must be good for something. Hmm. Hmm. Great idea, Daniel. It doesn't look like you'll be making a singing comeback, Erico. Don't worry, Daniel. I learned something much more important today. That my first album was already perfect! <laughs> No one ever saw the hook again. But they say that he's still out there, somewhere, waiting for his next victim. Oh, no! And he always chooses a child named... Not Daniel, not Daniel, not Daniel! Daniel! Oh, no! That's my name! Some have said that he found work as... A bus driver! <laughs> That's not funny, Erico. Mr. Clump has a hook, but he's nice. That's right. No, oh, come on. I was just pulling your leg. If you keep doing that, I'll never believe a word you say. Jamea, put that gold down! Maya, there's mud all over your shoes. Larry, no unicycling inside. <laughs> It marks the floor! See you later, Erico! Hey, guys! What's up, guys? Marcus? How you doing, girl? All good, Ping? So, uh, Robbie couldn't make it? What? He's missing? Since when? Robbie? Robbie! Robbie? Robbie! Who did this to you? Stay with me, Robbie! Stay with me! Come on! Come on! Hang in there, Robbie! Think of your wife and kids! <laughs> Just a second, kids. Hmm? Ah, that's better. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel! Daniel! It's terrible! That's just an old deflated ball. That's Robbie! He was like a brother to me. Maybe he just went flat on his own. Robbie would never do that. He was full of life. Oh, we went through so much together. This was murder, Daniel. <laughs> murder! Hey, you're just trying to scare me again, aren't you? No! This time it's all true, I swear! Erico? Don't believe me? I've got witnesses! <laughs> They've all disappeared! Uh, there's no one here. Like I said, they disappeared! But who? Marcus! Valerie! Ping! You named all the balls in the gym? No! Well, yes. That's beside the point, Daniel. Someone has kidnapped them! Erico? Someone is going after the balls in the gym, which means there's a... Ball deflator! A deflator. Hmm. Okay, you animals. Time to hit the showers. See you tomorrow, Daniel. We have to find the deflator. You want me to be the next victim? Knock it off, Erico. <gasps> I know you're making this up. You think I would lie to you? Wait! If you won't help me, maybe Detective McDaniels will. I don't know. He's pretty busy. I'd be surprised if he could. 
Even if I had his trench coat and his hat. And his magnifying glass. Detective McDaniels, did you call for my help? I'm working on a lot of cases right now, but for a friend of Daniel, I'll see what I can do. Okay, thank you, Detective McDaniels. Can we go now? Hmm. Two minutes on the case and still no leads. The investigation is going nowhere. <laughs> What are we doing in Maple's office again? Oh, Daniel, a vegetarian in sandals with a ponytail? He's obviously deranged. Maple can't be the deflator. He won't even harm a mosquito. Easy, little gluttons. Aha! Marcus's beret. You tell me that's not evidence of something. Maple's always had a weird fashion sense. And he does love his hats. Fair trade and trendy. What more do you need, Daniel? You want me to be the next victim? Is that it? Sorry, Eriko, but I just don't think it's him. Get up, get up, get up. Snack time! Go on, McDaniels, have your milk and cookies. Who needs ya? See what I think of your card, McDumdum. <laughs> Oh, it's just you, Maple. You scared me. I scared you? <laughs> Why would you be scared of me? No reason for that. For being scared of me. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Maple! <laughs> See you tomorrow. Marcus? Valerie? Ping? Here, guys. What do you want on your waffle, sweetie? Maple syrup? Maple? Yeah! A vegetarian in sandals? I scared you? <laughs> I just love maple honey. Maple syrup? Maple? Maple. 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 Erica was right! Maple's the Marcus, Valerie, Bing, who did this to you? I'm sorry you'd had to come to this, kids, but you leave me no choice. Maya, Maya, how many times have I told you not to scream in the plastic cones? This isn't all fun and games for me, you know. This hurts me more than anyone. <gasps> and you, Larry. My knees are shot from cleaning up your unicycle tracks. <gasps> and as for you... <laughs> I'm such a scatterbrain. <laughs> And as for you, Daniel, we don't play with switches. I know you're the one who made a mess in my office. Nobody move! Ah! McDaniels to the rescue! You better start talking or else! I confess to everything. I live in the gym, and I'm the one who's been deflating the balls! I don't know what's wrong with me these days. 
I'm full of rage and negative energy. Hmm. Can I see the box for your herbal tea? This isn't herbal tea. This is super energizing tea! That's why I was so cranky. I should have known something was up. Thanks, Daniel. You're welcome, Maple. We all make mistakes. And we all get worked up from time to time, too. <laughs> you got that right. But seriously, stop playing with the switches. <laughs> we'll miss you, Robbie. Rest in peace, old friend. Another case solved by Detective McDaniels. I can't believe you let Maple off the hook. Maple was just another victim in this sordid affair, Erico. Hey, nice trench coat, Daniel. Don't worry, Erico. Crime may never sleep, but neither does McDaniels. <laughs> <laughs>